Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RG Runner and welcome to my friendly neighborhood. It's kind of like Sesame Street meets the horror genre. Although I don't know what's so horrific about uh, Sesame Street other than it's been on the air for 25 years. It's giving One Piece a run for its money, that's for damn sure. And One Piece is a very long anime. Although I suppose I'm sort of comparing apples to oranges in that manner. But either way, it's supposed to be a kind of funny horror game of some sort. It's just a demo. The full game will be released. God knows when it will ever be released. That's my only bias against indie games sometimes. You see these um, hyped up demos. Everybody's talking about them. But sometimes they never end up coming to fruition. That's my only thing about small in the games i mean i'm not trying to tear them all with the one brush but from playing indie games on youtube from seeing them on steam i've seen a good few of the decent ones get cancelled and yeah very disappointing but hopefully hopefully this might be a different story because these guys do have a good few games behind them from what i've heard i can't name any to be honest i've just heard about about them in passing that, that's all. But either way, enough rambling. Let's get into it. Okay, settings. We want everything to look nice. Resolution, of course, 4K. Will not be uploading in 4K. Don't think I'll ever be uploading in 4K. Shadow quality, medium. Are you fucking kidding me? No, high. Texture limit, some. A lot. Yeah, a lot. And... Uh, and aliasing. Ambient occlusion, I've no idea. What those two are refresh rate 70 i'll leave it at 75 hertz because i think that's the max refresh rate of my monitor and feel of view jesus and what was the default yeah that looks okay right enough fluffing about with the settings let's get right into it now new game so there's normal and survival. A difficulty for normal players, a difficulty for those experienced with survival horror. This will be tough. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, thank you, Bert. Oh, I got hairy monkey hands. That was a good start. Now, are you sure you can't go up that way? Because when I was a child, I used to climb these a lot. You weren't supposed to go back up, but it was fun to do it anyway. A, B, C, one, two, three. Oh, now I can count. For you and me. That rhymed. So, where to? I'm guessing Ray. I'm meeting a guy called Ray, am I? Oh, dear, oh, my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here? Oh, Shut up, rookie. Oh. <laughs> I did not think that would happen. I did not think that would happen. I thought that would just skip the freaking dialogue. But, uh, I didn't mean to skip it like that. Either way, inspect. What do we have? Duct tape? Magazine? Magazine? The duct tape is for what? I have no idea. And the magazines, I assume they're ammo. And what the hell am I even shooting out of this thing? Letters. Oh, okay. So it was a P that was on it, and now it's an O. So if I shot out an O, or wait, it was a Q. Okay, okay, I did. Yes, wanted to test that out. We have a flashlight, cause it's, oh no, F was for files. Wait, am I supposed to go off that door? Because I see two doors. I see one, two, and three. Is this door even open? Oh, it is. Great. So what horrors lurk out here? Whoa, 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 what is your problem, dude? No, 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 social distance, COVID and whatnot. Get back. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you right there. Can form a protective layer during the night. Now you're all ready to go. 
What did you say about horseradish and rubbing it in your mouth? Who does that? What kind of freak are you? Brush your teeth like a normal human being. Um, right. So this looks like a type of puzzle area. I think. To all construction personnel. Due to ongoing renovation of the deeper stages, a high security door has been installed to keep puppets out of the construction zone. Every employee has been issued a set of punch cards for opening the door. If you lose your punch cards, this machine can be used to generate a replacement. Office of Logistics. Oh, okay, why would I have... F to view your notes and E to continue, okay. Inspect. Um... Okay, that did nothing because I don't have anything to put in it. it. Looks like something goes in there, and it looks like I just press these and something happens. Looks like it needs power. Oh, it needs power. Okay, fine. We will work that out at some other stage. Inspect this. It's locked. I guess I need a key. How to lax? Token. Token. Why does this sound like Resident Evil safe room uh, sound or music? Resident Evil m safe room music is what I meant to say. Ugh. Oh. Now that's a little different. Smooth jazz. Swing jazz. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Do you dig it? Okay. All jokes aside. Where am I? So completed and in progress. Oh, <laughs> take basement map. I will take that. And right clicking just seems to bring up this tutorial menu here. And tools inspect. Oh, speaking of Resident Evil, give me that shells. Take. This looks like a fairly Resident Evil esque. Um sort of how do you say inventory storage at least Resident Evil 4 and I suppose Resident Evil Village had the same thing didn't it yeah I did okay so I'm gonna store those stairs these are my magazines so I'm gonna move these here there we go duct tape can be moved here and this can be moved here Tokens, what are those for? Heal. Tree, tree. Wait, hold on. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. The tokens are for either healing or saving. Five. Ah, it says it's here. Well, I don't need to heal, but I can save. Okay. Okay. Health, healthy, area boiler room time, 5 minutes and 49 seconds, cost one token. Please come again, thank you. Alright. Have a smiling day. Bitch, do I look like I'm smiling? I won't be smiling tomorrow, I'll tell you that for nothing. Because I work in retail, and every day in retail is like a goddamn nightmare. But at least in retail I get to slay the Karens. Or sometimes they might slay me. Depending what I did or didn't do. Okay, so far she doesn't see me. I take my frustrations out in the world, that's what I do. Can I shoot the rat here? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Nope, no, 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 I keep pressing R, but R just brings up the map. That's weird. The control scheme of this game is absolutely freaking weird. R, by default in most games, is reload. That's why I keep hitting it. Speaking of which, I should probably look at the map a, bit, a little better. 
for the slide. That's completed. And what? I can't see anyone. What are you doing up there? Okay, whatever. You keep doing that, I guess. Give me that. Is there any, any more ammo? No, nada. There could be some more up there, I think. And oh, a note. The episode script, episode twenty-seven, Ray's plumbing nightmare. Okay, Ricky enters the Ricky set. Okay, I can't read that while he's banging on there. We fix it. Wait, are you Ray? Get out of here! Can I just keep shooting him? Or what? Can I just make him disappear? No. That's not doing anything. Um... interact with any of these cameras now can I or maybe maybe I'm not supposed to be here maybe I don't I don't have oh wait what's this boop so the fact that he disappeared to give you a scare but the, the fact also remaining that he was banging on here just seem, seemed pretty normal. Okay, whatever floats your boat. He's gone now anyway, that's for damn sure. And we're going to see what we have here. Inspect it. Okay, so. One, two, three. So it looks to be part of a puzzle. So, so this goes in here and that goes in. Oh! Oh, okay. That's the thing with the punch card yoke. Yokima Bob. I think that's the machine that makes the punch cards. Oh, it's all part of a grander scheme. Ah, looks like part of it's missing. Oh, okay, so I have to find this part and that part goes in here, then I take that part back to the machine to make the punch card. Okay, I'm so smart. Alright. Not doing too bad. Wait, where did that crazy bitch go? Yeah, I, I, I'm not your friend, buddy. Oh! Get back! And down you go. Slow it down, buddy! Catch your breath! Seem to be pretty breathless there for a second. No, tape, so I can I can tape these guys, can I? But do I wanna? No, no, not yet. Oh, it's you again, Ray. How are you doing? I ain't gonna tango with you, not today. Okay, so there's. Two more areas left to explore. This area here, that area over there. But where did it lead? So where am I? Um, I'm here. Sorry, got an itchy eye. Yeah, and this leads to where? Costume storage, I think. Where am I now? Oh, I'm in the office basement. Ah, okay. Open. No, that's locked. Can't go in there. Okay, time to reload. And there's two more goobers around here. Shh. 
<laughs> Here I thought I could solid snake this and just completely headshot him or one shot him, but no, no, no. And hey. no, no, no. I don't even get half of what you're babbling about, woman. Oh, oh, and I fucking died. But I spawned back here again with the same amount of ammo. I think. Wait, didn't I already tape you up? Well, I don't want to be your friend. Okay, there you go. You just stay there. Got a pretty low on ammo now. Out of order. Well, screw your sign. I don't care. Like, do they have critical points that I can hit or what? Or is the amount of damage I can deal just uh, randomly generated or what? Is it just random is what I meant to say. It's probably random. Ooh, inspect. What do we have here? Oh, coupons. Thank you. Shells. Wait, shells. They're different from what I currently have, aren't they? Yeah, magazines. Whoops. So if Ooh, <laughs> so are the channels for this thing? The novelist. Let's get writing. Press one and two to switch between the Rolo Dexter and the novelist. Oh, it's called the novelist because it's got a book for a what would you what do you call it? A reload coil? I don't know. I don't know a lot about guns, but I know how to use them. So don't test me, puppets. Mr. L, I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on our last project. The output is pretty flashy, but it should be useful for stunts, special effects, etc. I blasted a couple of Normans with it, and they seem to have fun flying across the room. It uses up a lot of letters though, so try to conserve ammo. By the way, a few of the employees might know that their typewriters are missing. Hank. Oh, so you took apart their typewriters and that's how you made the ammo for my gun, is that right? Whoops! I gotta stop doing that. Ooh, what, do we have more stuff in here? No? Ooh, duct tape, thank you, I'll be taking more than that. And another magazine. Thank God, I really needed it. Studio rules. Nobody can read that. And for some reason... The frame rate seems to drop incredibly in this particular corner. Gotta turn that RTX off. Okay, speaking of off, can I turn this off? Nope. Okay. Let's get back to the journey. It's locked from the other side. Oh no. There's more areas to explore here, isn't there? No, you're not! And down you go, and I'll tape your crazy bitch ass up. There's a chain over the handle. Can I shoot it off? I'm not gonna try. Just in case I end up wasting more bullets. What? Where am I now? Uh, still in the office basement, but um, I must be in a changing room of some kind. Ooh, nice hat. Can I, can't take it. More magazines. That must be... That's definitely draw, drawing of... Uh, what's his name? Bert. Benny, could you walk me home after the shoot today? I'm feeling a little unsettled after the mugging on Great Street a couple of nights ago. It seems like the city is getting more and more violent every day. Some days I feel like the only safe place is the neighborhood. I know it's silly, but it means a lot to me. Mr. Gerswald usually lets me go around 6.30. Meet me in the office lobby. Julia. Okay. Wait, was that note for me? Could have been. 
Inspect. No. Oh, I d these need the keys. Yeah, but I don't have the keys for them. More duct tape. Handful X. Magazine. Oh, hi. You're not going to pop out and do the Oogie Boogie. No? Okay. Wait, what did I just pick up? Oh, this is for the punch card machine. Yes, I know where to go. I have to go all the way back to um, recording studio and put the doodad in the doodad and then go back to the... Yeah, 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 I'll skip to that part. All right, we're back here again. So, if we just inspect Boy, this... I have just the thing for you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh-oh. Since when can these clowns use doors? Or I should say puppets. Holy sh- what the- Jesus Christ! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god! Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 How the hell did that even happen? Holy crap, thank god I have health, Alex. Uh, one more? Yeah, now I'm healthy. Jesus, is that what a headshot does? Okay, you back away. How the hell did he create multiple clones of himself? That was weird. So, right, what do I do here? E to inspect. Ah, uh, ye old classic PC. Yep, this is the PC of the 80s right here. Didn't have no fancy windows. Mm -hmm. So, what we got? Number three, we've got an X, and we've got a. That's either IX or 10. So it, X, X is what? X is 10. IX is 10 and 10. Yeah, X is 10. IX is 9. So which is it? Is it supposed to be IX or X? Wait, 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 wait. Why is it? No, there's a, a circle over this, so it must be 7. And 7 is VII. -I. So we need... We need a 3, we need a, a 10, and a 7. What? What's the correlation of these, though? Uh, is there any hints or clues I missed? Wait, 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 oh, I missed this. Inspect. So if square is two, a triangle is minus one, a circle is six. So that means. Right, my arms are itchy. That means. I need all of these to add up to the numbers corresponding on the punch card machines here or the clocking machines yeah the clocking machines so that that needs to be three so so square so two squares and yeah two squares and a triangle that'll be minus three yeah it'll be three ten two circles wait would it be no, what? I'm confusing myself here. No, ten, ten would be one circle, two squares, and seven. I'm a I'm a dumbass. Seven, seven would, would be yeah, six and two, eight minus one seven. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. It's not it's not that hard. So you just need to know a circle is six, a triangle is minus one, square is two. Can I take this with me? 
guess I can't. So six, one, and two. Six, one, two. Six minus one, two. Okay, right, whatever. So three. Shit, I already forget. It's circle is six, right? Well, we'll soon find out. So what we want are two squares and a triangle. And that should be three, right? So what does this give me? So do, do I just put this in here now? Okay, that was right. That's three. This is ten. So that shit. Circle, square, square. That's what it is. Thank you. I should be right. Oh, bang on the money. And the next one is seven. Okay. For seven, it's all three of them, I do believe. I hate using E to inspect. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, boom! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Didn't even need to go back to look at the map or the cheat sheet up there wow wonder how deep this goes good question I I do wonder how deep it goes but I wonder where it goes excuse the hell out of me what was that question is do I need to be out here Okay, don't notice me, don't notice me. Can I pick this up? No. Okay, I'm good. We're all good. Although, I have to admit, the. Oh, hey lads, how you doing? There's a lot of Normans here. Okay, that's locked. Has a triangle on it. Okay, that's very Resident Evil esque. Ooh, ammo, I will take that. I need lots of lots of you. Just don't jump down and do the oogie boogie. So I'm guessing I need certain keys that go in those doors because it seems very Resident Evil esque. No, you're not. You're no friend of mine, buddy. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, oh! Can I tape you guys up, or do I really need to? I don't think I need to. But you know what? I will just in case. There you go. I ain't stopping for you, buddy. Yeah, I, I love being excellent. I also love seeing alive as well. There we go. Save the game here. Just so we don't lose any progress. Anything up here? Inspect. Ammo and... 
a token. Okay, good in that respect. And open now, it's locked, of course it is. Ah, and that's where it was. That's the Norman room. Hey. Oh no, I, I, I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. I know that there's going to be some something spooky or something scary around this next corner. Oh. Duct tape. No, I can't duct tape you yet. But I, I know there's going to be something I have to open up here. Or some puzzle I have to solve. And then he'll jump up and do the oogie boogie and try and grab my ass. Hello? It's locked with an electric latch. Frank, Ray seemed pretty interested in the sewers lately, so he went ahead and hid the doors fuses in the lock boxes around the basement. There's one in the hall, puppet storage, the locker room, and the hangout by the punch card machines. Oh, that's where I was, and these are... I know exactly where they are, and... Strange kind of breaker box. And he said that the fuses were in these lock boxes, is that right? Sewers. Yeah, the doors fusing those lock. Yeah. So I've seen a couple of those around. Where does this lead? Ah, it's locked with electric lock, so it won't be open. Stay. It won't be open until I find those fuses. And there's one here. And it's tell me where to put it. So I just run back. And hopefully he hasn't done anything or moved. No. Good. Just put it in there. There we go. Right in the bunk hole. Speaking of bunk hole, you move and you're getting one of these right up there. Be shitting alphabet soup for weeks. Okay, there's another Norman out here for some reason. They're getting smarter by the minute. They've managed to make their way all the way from yonder door to here. <gasps> oh. No, 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 I want none of that. No, 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 no. Where am I now? Map? Uh, pipe room. Okay, is there any collectibles here? No. No, not a, not a thing. Oh, I can drive. Kind of like the boat in Tomb Raider. Uh, Tomb Raider 2, I should say. We don't actually get to drive it. It's just um, a shortcut, is it? I'm not sure. God damn it, and... Don't need any film reel. And I'll just save again. Or no! Well, I healed. Yeah, it was only one token, so it's all good. And now it's unlocked, so where does this lead me now? Ah. Here. Yeah, yeah I've been here, and all the puppets in these rooms are locked, I think. Or duct taped. That's already in here before, so nothing has changed. This leads me out to the locker room. Right, here's the next lock box. What was the... There's two more, wasn't there? There's one this hall, puppet storage. The locker room, that's where I am now, and the hangout by the punch card machines. Alright, here we are in the punch card machine room. There should be a lock box here, I think. Is it upstairs? I think it's upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. It's gotta be upstairs. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh no, it's downstairs here. And this safe room music, I swear to god, it is. Copyright infringing levels of the Resident Evil 2 remake save room music or Resident Evil 7. Yeah, Resident Evil 7, that's what it sounds like. 
Until the jazz kicks in, of course. Alright, last lockbox. And wait for now. All these guys are going to jump up and do the Oogie Boogie. Watch now, I, I bet. No. Ready? Alright then. That's good. Oh, they have to go in a particular pattern. Do I have the note for those? Please tell me I have notes. Oh shoot, I missed one. Yeah, process of elimination. So the speed goes on the left, the ace on the right, and the diamond second from the left. Okay. Right hand door unlocked. Sweet. So I'm guessing a certain combination will allow the left hand door to unlock. Is that right? I learned my numbers when I was a kid. So did I. Whoa. We have so much in common. Whoa. But I did not care to reminisce about my childhood. Oh, hey. You're not going to hurt me with that, are you? No? Okay, good. Thank you. I like it when people share and inspect. Ding, ding. Mm. Yeah, now something spooky would happen. No, we're all good. Wait, wait, wait. Can I open? Oh. thought I could open that. Could I? No. No such luck. Ooh, a cigarette. I could really go for a cigarette right now. Ah. A giant bell. Lovely. What would you be doing with a giant bell? Gonna... No. Some questions are better left unanswered. So what now? I'm here wherever here is map raise stage so that's not complete editing room that so these areas marked in red are all in progress so I've clearly missed one or two things here but we're oh yes there was a door that was locked in the <clears throat> In the, 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 the shower room, or not the shower room, the changing rooms, which are this way, I think. Okay, open that like so. Inspect. Secret. A cheat unlocked. Ooh, what cheat did I unlock now? Infinite ammo. Moon hop. Nothing here. Jesus Christ, the dialogue here are from the NPCs, it's really getting to me. It's kind of annoying. Push. I get going up or down, are we? Wait, is that the end? Hey there, John here. Hey, going. Thanks very much for playing this demo. I hope that you enjoy yourself. MF, MFN development is progressing fantastically. There will be more to share soon. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate a wish list over on Steam. It goes a long, long way to making MFN come true. I've got a different project you can check out too. It's very different from this one, but it may strike your fancy. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, one other thing. It might be worth taking a second look around the basement. See you soon. You know what? I will add this to my wish list, and I very, very rarely add anything like this to my wish list because it's not too horror eccentric. It's kind of an overall fun, chill game to play. It has different vibes, or I've picked up on like different um, elements from it, like what it's based on, where it's taken inspiration from. Clearly, Sesame Street, but also different games. I get a very 
Bioshock feel to it as well, kind of, just in terms of uh, the retro music, the gun, the, of course the time period we're set in, it seems to be set in maybe the 70s or 80s, whenever the, this type of Puppet Show came out, I think it was the 80s. Yeah, the Muppet Show, or sorry, not the Muppet Show. Sesame Street has been around since the 80s, I think, if not the very early 90s, but it's clearly a lot older than that. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? They said I have to check out the basement again for a secret, so I'm guessing I didn't clearly check everywhere in the basement. So I might go back and do that in my own time. But uh, yeah, that's what I think. It's, it's a good game. It's decent. Can't wait for it to come out. We'll be playing it in full. I've already said this before, I will be playing it in full once it comes out. So I'll just quit my rambling and end the video here. So guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So on to the next time. See ya.